Give me a little video. You want to be a video? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you guys go in the bathroom, watch where you stab. Oh, okay. Cat all over the place. I got you. Okay. For every investor, every seller out there who does not watch my show or does not take my advice and who does not put government guaranteed tenants in their units, they end up as distressed sellers like this particular person and their loss can become your game. Hence why you get a duplex in Cleveland, Ohio for only $49.9. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV. Giving it to you straight. Some people, they can't start their day. They cannot get their day going off on the right foot without waking up and getting that sweet, sweet smell of a cup of joe. Man, that cup of joe in the morning, that nice aroma, all them roasted beans, that perfection. It gets them moving. It gets them grooving. It gets them ready to rock and roll, right? Me? Not really. No, no, no. What I need, what I need in the morning... That sweet, sweet smell of a live eviction caught on tape. Ooh, boy, do I love me the smell of an eviction in the morning. Nothing better than waking up on eviction day knowing there is some piece of human garbage who's been stealing from you who is going to be homeless within the next couple hours. Oh, man, that the aroma the aroma of that sweet, sweet justice, y'all, that gets me going, right? But that's just me. A lot of people, a lot of people don't like evictions, right? Both tenants and landlords. Typically, the deadbeat piece of crap tenant who's getting evicted, they're not happy. Most folks are not happy when you take every single item they own and throw it into the street. They get a little bummed about that, okay? But you know who gets really bummed? You know who the real victim is? Because that's the problem with a lot of people out there. A lot of people think the victim is that piece of crap tenant who's now homeless. That ain't the victim, y'all. That's the perpetrator. That is the criminal. That is like feeling bad for the guy who's in jail for the next 30 years for killing someone. That is like feeling bad for the guy who goes to jail for 10 years for stealing a car, right? You don't feel bad for the criminal. Those aren't the victims. The real victims are the landlords, okay? But for those... New investors out there, evictions could also be a great opportunity, a reason for you to love it. Like the example I have for you here today. 1382, East 43rd, right? Cleveland. It's a rougher neighborhood, okay? In this particular neighborhood, folks, if you're going to try to become a real estate investor out here in this particular neighborhood, I'm going to tell you what you don't want to do. You don't want to go cash paying tenants, all right? What you want to do is you want to go Section 8. Because if you don't go Section 8, you're going to end up in a similar situation to the person who has hired me to sell these properties to you all, right? To sell this, this property, rather. Uh, there's actually a neighboring one, which we're also going to be selling. And uh, you should see the video to that one uh, publishing on Holton Wise TV here shortly. But for now, $49.9 is the price point. And this property comes to you totally vacant after two evictions, right? Two evictions that this particular seller did not love. The experience was not great for this seller, which is why I tell you guys all the time when you're investing in neighborhoods that are this level of risk, this risky, this type of asset, you gotta go Section 8, y'all. What you see is what happens when you don't put government guaranteed rent check tenants in your properties, right? They stop paying. Uh, this particular set of evictions was even uh, more excruciating for this particular seller uh, because the seller or the tenants rather were able to kind of game the system and they were able to delay the eviction process uh, for many months, right? So uh, during that time, they were also able to chop up the, the units and they're not left, of course, in great condition, but uh, I'm going to have to give a little pro tip out there to anybody who might be watching who thinks the tenants who are being evicted leave the units in Brent uh, broom clean condition. They don't, right? You're always going to have to do a full unit turn, okay? Uh, but you guys can go ahead and love evictions because for every investor, every seller out there who does not watch my show or does not take my advice and who does not put government guaranteed tenants in their units, 
they end up as distressed sellers like this particular person, and their loss can become your game, hence why you get a duplex in Cleveland, Ohio, for only $49.9. Now, obviously, you're going to need to spend some coin repairing both units, getting them both rent ready. Then you're going to obviously want to get yourself this building lead safe certified, right? So all told, uh, as far as your budget, you know, you're probably going to be spending anywhere between, I don't know, 30 and uh, $45,000, I would say, uh, depending on who does your work, how you get your work done, who you're hiring, et cetera, et cetera, how the process of uh, all the lead work you're going to need to do takes place, right? Because I can't just give you a lead bid right off the top of my head, folks. It doesn't actually work like that. If you're curious to know how the lead bidding process works, it's not something I could just uh, look at this footage and give to you right off the top of my head. No, the process of getting a lead bid is actually a long and excruciating process, but it's the law now, so you're all going to have to deal with it if you want to be investors in Cleveland. If you want to learn about the lead process uh, below or in and around the video notes here, like I don't know what platform you're watching this particular show on. So like if it's TikTok, it might be above the video or next to the video. And if it's YouTube, it's below, something like that, right? Uh, but whenever you find the notes, the copy that we've written, uh, we're going to have a link to our lead certification video. I highly recommend you guys check that out. That'll teach you how the lead process is going to go. But outside of that, right, uh, I'd say this particular property is probably going to be best uh, utilized by a experienced landlord, a landlord who's very comfortable in low-end neighborhoods, in tougher neighborhoods, and who's uh, comfortable with the Section 8 program. I think Section 8 is the way to go. And if you guys would like to physically tour this building so you can get uh, an idea of how much it's going to cost you or your contractor to put this thing uh, back together. If you'd like to narrow down the bid range from uh, the wider range of 30 to 45K that I've given to you guys, that's not a problem. Just email our team and we will set you up with an appointment so you could tour this, put together your scope of work. And then after that, what we're going to want is as is cash offers, folks, right? We're going to want cash offers on this. It's not in very good condition. It's going to need a lot of repairs. So financed offers probably ain't going to cut the mustard on this one, y'all. But if you put it together right, I don't know where else you can get a property this cheap that's going to generate that much Section 8 income. Not going to be able to do that anywhere else. That's why I love me some evictions, right? The sweet smell of justice, and what's even better than that, the sweet, sweet smell of money. When you come in, take a distressed asset like this, turn it around, manage it the appropriate way with those government-guaranteed tenants. Send those cash offers to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. Guys, kind of cleaning shit up. You can go up if you want. Okay. Smells like cat shit, though. Guy was out already. Yeah, he's not here. Yeah, that's what I figured. It does smell like cat piss. I mean, I look in and just the fact that I get off. But that ain't that. It just it ain't nothing. But if it's a bad one, he gonna get some blood. Video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you guys go in the bathroom, watch where you stand. Oh, okay. Catch it all I over the place. I got you. Okay. Yeah, I do. Right behind you. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.